What's up guys, this is Alan and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you three signs plants display when they're telling you they need water. Most people are so afraid to water the plants that they actually kill their plants for underwatering rather than overwatering. And that is the biggest problem, the biggest issue people have, especially during the summer when it's super hot. Do not be afraid to water your plants. Plants are talking to you. Yes, plants will tell you when they need water. All you gotta do is just listen. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, before we get started, you need to understand how plants actually use that water you give them. Do you know that plants sweat for the same reasons you do? Yes, plants use most of that water, over 90% of the water you give them through transpiration, which is sweating. The hotter the environment around your plant, the more your plant is going to sweat, the faster the soil around your plant is going to dry. This is the main reason why most people out there are not able to tell you exactly how often to water the, your plants because that'll be like telling you how often to drink water. Everybody's uh, water requirements is going to be different depending on your activity level and environmental exposure. So now that you understand where most of that water goes, let's go ahead and talk about the signs that plants show when they need water. And let's get started with the first one, and that is wilting. Most of you are familiar with wilting. What does wilting look like? Well, I got a plant right here that is starting to wilt. So let me show you. This one right here is an Oscar mulberry. And just by looking at it, it's starting to wilt. How can I know? Well. I'm around plants every single day and I have been for several years. The more time you spend with anything, whether it's a plant, an animal, a person, the more you get to know them. So I can tell this is not what normal looks like. Normal for this plant, usually the leaves are perked up like this, all of them. But you can see they're drooping down. This plant is running out of water. What is causing the plant to wilt? Well, check this out. As the plant runs out of water, the plant will have a hard time pushing that water higher up the canopy because the way plants work, it's like a mechanical pump. And that mechanical pump requires pressure behind it to push the water up the canopy. The taller the tree, the more pressure it needs. So as soon as the soil starts drying out in extreme temperatures like here in the desert, plants will start to wilt because there's not enough water being supplied to the leaves so that way they can transpire, they can sweat. So what usually happens is they start to wilt. Now, this is the first stage of wilting. For somebody that is not familiar with this plant, it looks fine. But within the next few hours, if this plant does not get water, the wilting will get worse. If this plant was in a container, in this environment right here, within the next hour, this plant will be completely wilted. Two, three hours, this plant's canopy will be gone. But since it's in the ground, it takes a lot longer for that to happen. So, first sign plants are gonna show you they need water is wilting. If you're, not, if you're not familiar with that plant, my recommendation is when you go to the nursery and the plant looks like it's supposed to, make a video, take a picture, so you know exactly what the plant looks like. And then if something changes in the future, you can refer to that video or that picture so that way you can see if your plant's starting to wilt or not. So how can you fix it? Just water it, super easy to do. This plant right here was watered, uh, when was it? Five days ago, guys. I actually have flood irrigation. This is my flood irrigation area, and this area was flooded about this high off the ground with water. And even though it was thousands and thousands of gallons of water, obviously this plant is not rooted deep enough below ground to reach that water. So five days is how often this plant can go before it starts to wilt. That's another way you can actually check your plants when they need to be watered. And what you do is, it took five days for this plant to start wilting. So you don't wanna wait until your plants are wilted. What you wanna do is, you back off a day, and technically, this plant right here actually is on a drip irrigation system too. So this plant needs water every four days, probably for a few hours, so that way it doesn't wilt. And the irrigation system is actually coming on today, which is every five days. But you know, I have other plants on the same zone, so unfortunately I cannot change it. Look, freaking bubbler. This is why I hate this species of crap bubblers. Look, the top blew off. That's why I don't like using these guys. And then once I run out of them, I'm never using these guys again. Um, 
but anyways yeah the water is gonna come on uh, later today and then the wilting should go away now remember this is stage one stage two wilting well usually the, the leaves are gonna droop down a lot more and it's definitely gonna be a lot more obvious that your plant needs water if you wait until that point then you risk your plant taking damage and that brings us to sign number two sign number two is curling of the leaves like this a lot of your leaves are going to curl up why are your plants curling up well remember plants sweat for the same reasons you do well before some plants not all plants will do this some plants will especially citrus this is an american persimmon right here but what usually happens is as they start running out of water what the plants are trying to do they're trying to minimize sunlight exposure so that way they don't have to sweat as much so they can preserve water and the leaves will curl up like this once the leaves are curled like that they will not uncurl even after you water so that's the difference between wilting and curling and this will happen only during the summer months when it's hot and, you, and if your plant runs out of water the leaves will curl up so if your leaves are curling up most likely your plant's telling you that it needs water even if it's not wilting yet but they're curling up just make sure you water your plant but remember once you water the leaves will not uncurl all right guys sign number three and this one is transpiration burn remember earlier i told you plants move water up the canopy of a tree like a mechanical pump and that mechanical pump requires pressure to push the water higher up the canopy of the plant well as the soil starts drying out not only will your plant wilt it will also curl as you can see this pakistan mulberry over here got blown over by the wind a few days ago and the irrigation lines came out so i didn't notice it for about half a day but during the half a day the leaves wilted not only did they wilt they also curl not only did they curl they also burned now what is transpiration burn well as a plant is unable to push the water higher up the canopy of the tree the areas farthest away from the main trunk and the root system of your plant well will not get enough water to cool off and they will burn and you can see the edges of these leaves uh, right here they're all burned and you can see most of the leaves that are burned are towards the top of the canopy most of the leaves on the bottom they are not and that is simply because remember the plant had a hard time pushing the water higher up the canopy because it just didn't have enough water in the root system to do so so if you experience burning of your leaves especially around the edges of your leaves and most of that burning is happening on the top of your canopy your plant is telling you that it needs water now i also covered transpiration burn on my uh, heat damage video that I did a few weeks ago and sometimes even if you water your plant sometimes plants are not able to sweat fast enough to cool off they will also exper experience transpiration burn but that is also a sign that your plant needs water and usually that happens after your plant has wilted this plant was completely wilted on the ground I water it it perked back up but you can see a lot of the leaves that curl up they did not uncurl because they don't uncurl and also I got transpiration burn so if you're experiencing transpiration burn just water your plant especially during the summer months make, sh make sure they do not go dry because going dry especially in the sun in extreme temperature especially if your plants are in a container it's just a matter of an hour to two hours before your plant is completely gone and that brings us to sign number four and that is yellowing of the leaves yellowing of the leaves is mainly going to happen on plants that have shallow fibrous roots like guava plants star fruits miracle fruit trees uh, loquats a lot of plants that have very tiny fibrous roots they will display this as a sign that they need water and what does yellowing of the leaves look like well the entire leaf will look just like this it will look healthy it will it will not wilt it will not curl it will just look healthy but it's gonna turn yellow and it's just gonna be randomly throughout the entire tree sometimes like this one right here it could be just a few leaves like this one there's only two leaves in here that are yellow but then you wait another day or two then you get more leaves you wait a few more days and the, 
you get more leaves and eventually the entire canopy of the tree is going to be yellow. And what is the plant doing? The plant's trying to tell you it has enough water to survive. But something happened and now it has less water than it used to having. The canopy is huge, the plant was growing great, but now for whatever reason the plant doesn't have enough water to sustain that canopy. It has enough water to survive, but not to sustain that canopy that it currently has. So what the plant is going to do, it will try to shed its leaves so it minimizes sweating, it minimizes sunlight exposure. So that way it preserves water, so it can live by sacrificing a bigger canopy. Now, if you look at the video on the screen right now, that is my Shangri-La mulberry tree. This happened last year. And this is why I like making videos, because I have proof of what I'm telling you. This is not just talking out my rear. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not a master gardener, I'm not an expert, but I know how to grow plants. So last year, my Shangri-La mulberry ran out of water. Actually, it rained. Last year, we had a lot of rain. But the rains that we had were not long enough to penetrate the soil deep enough where the Shangri-La mulberry was actually drinking the water. And my canopy started tur turning yellow. Yes, the entire canopy started turning yellow. No, it was not fertilizer related. It was water related. So I did not get flood irrigation for an entire month because we had rain. And I thought the rain was penetrating the soil deep enough for this plant to actually do well, but it was not. And the plant showed me that by turning its canopy yellow and shedding its, almost its entire canopy. So guess what I did? I listened. I watered the plant and this is what it looks like now. And you can tell it looks great. Look, I do have a, a leaf up there that is yellow, another one on that side, but you know, a few leaves is normal. The entire canopy is not, but now it looks fine. So I guess my diagnosis was right. So if you're having a tree and its foliage is turning yellow, most likely the plant is telling you that it doesn't have the water that it's used to and it's shedding its canopy so that way it can stay alive. Now, if you look at the screen, this is another uh, plant that I have here on my property. Um, that's a guava right there. The canopy was turning yellow because the plant didn't have enough water. I thought I was watering it long enough, but the water was just wet in the mulch and it was not getting past the mulch. And mulch will not water your plants. So the canopy of my plants started turning yellow. Yes. And unfortunately that plant did not make it because uh, I waited too long and it, it, just, it just died, guys. Um, it was my fault, um, but what can you do? So that's that one. And then just a few weeks ago, um, I was at a customer's house and then I, I was looking at something else and then he told me that his uh, Jamaican cherry strawberry tree was struggling. So I looked at it and I knew exactly immediately as soon as I, as I saw it that it was a water related issue. And I told him, hey, you need to water your plant more or, or longer. And then he swore that it was not water related. He swore that mulch was wet. And you know, if I was not in person, it was not, if I was not there in person showing him exactly what the problem was, he would have never believed me. So what I did, if you look at the video, I actually dug into the soil, past the mulch, and just like two inches below ground, it was bone dry. The mulch was wet, but two inches below ground, it was dry. And that is what the root system of the plant was, trying to drink the water. So the plant was turning, uh, was shedding its canopy by, by turning the leaves yellow to preserve water so it could live longer. But he swore that he watered his tree. He did. But all he was doing was just watering long enough to wet the mulch. And remember, mulch will not water your trees. So yes, yeah, so if the leaves of your plants are turning yellow, most likely it's water related. How can you tell the difference between overwatering yellow and underwatering yellow? Well, that's very easy to do. Just dig into the soil. If the soil is dry, it most likely needs water. And as soon as you water within, depending on the type of plant, within a month to a few months, the yellowing will go away. And the yellowing will only happen usually during the, during the summer months. It will never happen during the winter months. So if you're experiencing yellowing of your leaves and your plant looks pale, it looks terrible like crap, most likely it's an overwatering issue. But overwatering issues take months 
to over a year to actually show up. Yellowing due to underwatering issues mainly happen during the summer months. Your plant's still gonna look healthy, everything's gonna look perfect, but your leaves are gonna start turning yellow and then the canopy is gonna start dropping its, uh, its leaves. But anyways guys, that's it. Four different signs plants show you when they need water. If you actually look at your plants and you pay attention, it's very easy to do. Some of the signs are more common than others. Some of them are easier to understand than others. But you know what? The more time you spend with your plants, the easier it's going to be to actually see the signs. Anyways, guys, as always, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time.